Check it out, everybody. LAN server tutorial by popular demand. So let me show you how to get a LAN server on Windows local setup, Minecraft. And we're going to be using the 4JPI so that way you can modify it. So let's get right into this. First thing you want to do is download a couple things. Obviously, Java. Make sure you have it on your computer in the latest version. That'll solve you all kinds of headaches. Get it done. Next thing you're going to need is an archiver tool. I use 7-Zip. That's the one I recommend. It's really quick, easy, and minimalistic. Download the one you need for your computer. Next thing you want to do is download a file call or an executable called jarfix. It fixes a lot of headaches, especially when dealing with server and uh, uh, jar files. So, yeah, get it. I'm going to show you how to download it because uh, Softpedia is a bit of a mess with their ads. So don't click the main one. Click on this one right here. Then click on the external mirror, and that's how you download it. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you're going to go to minecraft.net slash download and head on over to the download page. Don't download Minecraft for Windows. Don't download the multiplayer server. Download the server jar, which is right here. That's the one you want to get. Okay. Put all these things on your desktop. Then get the, the version of Forge for your version of Minecraft. The link that I gave you is going to start you here. Pick the version that you have. We've been using 1.4.6. Go down. Support these guys. Get the universal AdFly version. Clicky, clicky. Waity, waity. Five, four, three, two. Yeah! And then download it by clicking the skip ad. Okay? Once all these are downloaded, you can minimize your browser. We don't need it anymore. And let me pull up the files I've downloaded previously. They've been baking the oven this whole time. This is the IP address of my computer. This is very important, and I'll show you how to get that. You're going to need that, especially playing local. So I'll show you how to get that. First thing you want to do is run jarfix. It's a very simple program, and I've already used it, so I'm not going to run it again. But it's virus-free, don't worry. But it fixes the, uh, the, uh, ex the extensions that... Uh, well, Java uses. It fixes problems, okay? Use it. Now, first thing we want to do, make a folder. We're going to call it server. And I already have one. And so what I'm going to do is just simply drag it into the open area here. It's just an empty server folder. Then you want to do is drag the Minecraft server jar right in here and give it a double click. Okay, it'll do all kinds of stuff. It'll download all kinds of files it needs and generate the new world. Once it's done, close it out. Na, 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 na. Takes a little while. Yes. You see a whole bunch of files just appeared now. This is the world. You can, uh, you can delete it and it'll generate a new one. This is the people who have basically the admin power. You got to type in people's names exactly as they show up in their login for it to work here. So let's close this and save it. Don't edit any of these while the server is running, by the way. All the rest of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. This server properties file is important to mess around with to make your server exactly the way you want it. Okay. Next thing we want to do is get Forge in there. Open it up with your favorite archiver. And then you're going to open up Minecraft server with your favorite archiver. Open with. I'm going to use my file manager. And there it is. It should look very similar to the regular Minecraft jar. Because it is. Copy these guys over from the Forge Universal on over to your server jar. It'll ask you if it's okay to copy it. Yes. Okay. Do not delete meta-inf. Leave it there. Okay? Do not. Close both of these guys. Now run it again. It's going to use Forge to download even more necessary files and create more necessary folders takes a little while longer than normal or than uh, unmodified obviously but still pretty quick and that always depends on how fast your computer is of course and there you go the Minecraft server is ready to go all you gotta do is put the mods that you want in the mods folder and the core mods folder and then configure the mods the way you like them by Config or editing the config files in this uh, configuration area. Easy peasy. Always refer to the mod thread that you've downloaded for how to install it. I can't give enough tutorials to be able to cover how many different mods there are, so do it. 
Okay. Now we got to get into Minecraft. First, open up the server. Dun 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 dun. Done. Okay. Minimize this, and then go into your command prompt. You can get to that by typing run or going to the run program, just like this, and typing in CMD. It'll open up a black window and it'll show a bunch of information about your computer and you just simply have to type in ipconfig. Once you hit enter, it'll show all kinds of network information about your computer including your IP address. Write it down. You're gonna need it. I did. That is my IP address. Local IP address. It's very important. I'm doing local tutorial, not external tutorial. Which means you can only play if you guys are all connected on the same router. Log in Minecraft like regular. This is a heavily modded version of Minecraft. You probably won't see all this mess in the right here, but you have to make sure that your version of Minecraft at least has Forge installed on it. You also have to make sure that all the mods line up perfectly. Every mod that is a multiplayer or a server mod needs to be on exactly the same on both your, regular, your version of Minecraft and the version of the server. Same version of Forge, same version of everything. It has to be almost identical. Well, actually, it needs to be identical. Single player mods like Optifine and Not Enough Items can simply just be on your client and they don't need to be on your server. Okay? Let's go to multiplayer. And as you can see, I've already pre added it. And, I'll show, and I'm going to delete it and add it again just for you guys. Delete. Very simple. Add server, name it whatever you want. In our case, we're going to call it Wee! Yeah. And you type in your IP address just like it said. Remember, it's local. Ta da! Done. Leave it alone. It's going to pull it and it's going to find it. It says the. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. So there's no way the latency is this bad on a LAN server. So, yeah, pay no attention to that. It shows the number of players in there, the IP address, the message of the day, which can be changed in that properties file. Just click join server. Done. And that's that. Thank you for joining me. Post your questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more. Check it out. It's working land. See you next time. Bye.